Hey guys and welcome to my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. So it's going to be a full face today so I'm starting off with the skin and I'm prepping my skin with a mattifying primer. This is the 100% pure mattifying primer filled with vitamins and antioxidants so it's really great for the skin and it's also non-toxic. It's made from all natural ingredients which is what I love as well. I don't like putting harsh chemicals onto my skin. For foundation today, I'm going to just quickly pump through it. I'm using my beauty sponge to blend it in. I'm going in with my Airborne Perfecting Liquid Foundation in the shade Neutral Beige. I'm placing that all over the skin, just in a medium coverage. I don't want a full coverage with this look. I'm not a fan of looking cakey. And for concealer today, I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moin. And I'm blending that in with an Eek Show crease brush, I believe that is. To set the powder in place very, very, very lightly under my eyes, I'm going in with my Zooey Pressed Powder in the shade Nutmeg. Um, it's a bit darker than my natural skin tone, hence why I'm only using a very light amount under the eyes. And I'm actually bronzing with it a bit more heavier on the cheeks and temples and anywhere where you'd naturally bronze the skin, get a bit of sunlight. I'm using my Chi Chi Bronzer Brush. I love this product as well because it is a natural makeup company so they don't put any nasty chemicals or hidden you know hidden nasties or anything like that in there so I do prefer to know what's in my my makeup products um, so this is another great brand if you guys are into the natural makeup kind of world to do my brows I'm just gonna whiz through it um, everyone has their own kind of brow routine so I'm not gonna go into too much detail but basically I'm going in with my Maybelline brow powder in the shade soft brown and I'm going in and just filling in my brows making sure the head of the brow is more feathered and soft and the tail of the brow is a bit more harsh I like a stark brow so I know a lot of you like that more natural fluffy brow so you do but you do your brow routine however you like and I'm just setting those brow hairs in place with some clear brow gel to start the eyes off I'm going to map out that cut crease shape that we're going to create today so I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on a lip brush from Eeg Show and I'm just creating a soft sketch of the eye shape that I want to create today. I'm bringing it almost to the inner corner of my eye but not quite and I'm flicking it out on the corner of my eye. And then going over top of that NYX Jumbo Pencil I'm taking the Custard shade, I think it's Custard from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just going over top and really darkening up that line so there's no white poking through and just cr kind of creating that yeah that shape that we're going to create today if I haven't said that enough <laughs> and then I'm going in and joining the corner of my eye to my bottom lash line um, creating a nice thick stark line along the bottom lashes we will blend it out later I'm just going in um, I thought might as well do the whole eye while I'm at it <laughs> so I did then taking the similar shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette, but it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more magenta than like purple, which was the custard shade. So I'm going in on an Eek Show pencil brush and I'm blending out custard with that more magenta -y eyeshadow from the Chi Chi palette. I'm not blending it up too high. I don't want to cover that whole brow bone area. I do want to keep it quite so like focused and soft on that, um, that line that we've created, that cut crease. Um, so I'm just kind of blending out that line and then I'll go further in and blend out that stark line with these two soft pink peachy tones from the Chi Chi palette on a crease brush from Zoeva. And that'll kind of soften it a little bit more. Don't poke your eye out like I did just then. <laughs> Be a bit careful and just take your time with the blending guys. It is a bit of a process. You do have to go back and forth between all the shadows to bring them back if you've blended too much of them away or you feel like, you know... It's not blended enough you can go back in with the lighter tones but I promise you you will get there in the end it took me a little bit to blend but I was really happy with how it looked once it was seamlessly blended then I'm going back in and kind of cleaning up the cut crease so I'm taking my MAC soft ochre paint pot and I'm basically going in with that lip brush again and just crispening or redefining up those uh, lines along the eyelid area so it's nice and clean and cut I do kind of fill in the lid as well um, just to create a nice even blank canvas along the whole thing and then I go in with a matte eyeshadow it's just like a normal skin color tone and I just set my eyelid with that 
just so it wouldn't transfer or crease or anything like that throughout the wear. And I repeat the same process on the other eye, trying to make both eyes as even as possible. Sorry if there's a little bit of background noise um, while I'm uh, doing this little voiceover. I'm at the beach at the moment, so I get to look out onto the beautiful water and you guys get nice, relaxing ocean sounds. But I do apologize if it is quite loud for you uh, listening. So once I've set my lids in place and I'm happy with the cut kind of crease look, I'm going back in and just kind of redefining up those edges with that dark custard shadow on a precise shader brush just here and there where I feel like it was a bit too blended away I do want it to be quite defined along that cut crease line and then I go in and highlight my inner corner and brow bone so I'm taking puffs again from the dubious place palette and highlighting the very highest point of my brows and then going in and highlighting the very inner point the innermost inner <laughs> the innermost point of my eyes um, it is stark, quite a vibrant shadow, um, but I love it because it has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. It's very feminine, very beautiful. Then I'm taking this lipstick from Revlon called Tropical. Uh, I am cautious like with applying liquid lipsticks or any lipsticks to my eyes. It can aggravate them, so if you guys have sensitive eyes, don't do this. Use an eye coal, like a pink kind of magenta eye coal. I just didn't have one with me at the time so I used a liquid lipstick and just set it in place with some of that kind of magenta pink shade. For lashes today I went in with my Okona lashes um, in the shade Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight Collection and I just love how wispy and fluttery they are. Then I went in with some bottom lash mascara. To continue on with the skin I'm going in with uh, Dusk from Fat in the Moon. It's another natural makeup company. I love this brand so much. I love their cream products. I'm going in with this on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose as well, just using my beauty sponge to blend it in. And then to highlight the cheeks a little bit, kind of get that glowy look going, I'm going in with Beam, which is another product from Fat in the Moon. Such a stunning highlight. I use it every day just for a bit of a glow. It's so natural and just so beautiful. And then to set that in place, I'm going in with my Focalore Superstar Highlighting Palette and just taking that kind of pinky shadow that pinky color which has more of a gold reflect to it as well as a bit of pink and highlighting you know just everywhere where we place down that cream um cream highlight you actually don't need to set this cream highlight in place i just wanted to look a little bit more stark and glowy so i went in with a bit more intensity and again just intensifying that highlight even more with a bit of puffs on the very highest point of the cheeks which was like whoa i was like oh my lord that is really intense but it looked really good on the on the on the pitch on the pics and everything I loved it I love a stark glowy look for the heart today we're kind of mimicking what we did with the eyes with the heart so basically I'm going in and creating the shape of the heart with my NYX Jumma pencil and milk first just to get that initial kind of shape and idea and then going over top of the NYX Jumbo pencil with the pink shadow that we used before um, just to deepen it up and get that stark beautiful heart showing through then I go in and blend it out with some of those two peachy pink shadows on a Eggshow pencil brush again. And I take my time with this step. I don't want to blend it out too much where it's completely covering the cheek. And I try and focus it on the outer edges of that heart so I'm not covering any of the center. I want that to remain blank. Um, if you do get a bit of shadow in the middle, don't worry. We are going to clean it up anyway, but it just makes it a little bit easier. Makes your job a little bit easier if you just kind of try and keep it as blank as possible. And I go in with a crease brush and just soften the edges a little bit more um, so the heart is nice and like kind of smoky and blended and there's no like harsh defining lines. Then I go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot again and clean up the heart on the innermost points. So just kind of redefining it up a little bit and I fill it in as well and set it in place with some of that nude coloured eyeshadow like that matte eyeshadow just so it doesn't crease or fade away or anything like that just to help the longevity of it and I do crispen up the edges with some of that dark pink custard shadow um, just to redefine it up a bit more and that should be the eyes and little heart complete <laughs> to finish off the look guys I'm going in with the lips so I'm taking my Dusty Rose lip liner from Rimmel I think it is or Revlon one of the two I'll leave it linked down below I'm just lining my lips with that color. It's very feminine, very pink, and it goes well with this look. 
Then I'm taking my Zoeva liquid lipstick in the shade Pale Plethora and I'm just going over top and just filling in my lips with that. And I wanted something glossy and nude as well, not so, so pink with this um, liquid lipstick. So I went in with my Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Undressed and I just went over top of the lips with that. And I actually really liked how that lip combo looked. You can keep it matte if you guys want. I mean, for Valentine's Day, you probably want it matte. It will last longer, but I do love a good glossy nude lip. And that, guys, completes today's makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys do too. Let me know what you think down below. And let me know what you'd like to see next as well. I always love your comments and ideas. Help me create some more content that you guys want to see. Hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. Sending all my love out to you and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.